Welcome to the Azure Guy video. I'm an Azure administrator, Azure security engineer, Azure solutions architect, and a certified Kubernetes application developer. If you want, if you wish to watch videos on how to set up a cluster, so you can follow along, please see my Lab One and Lab Two videos in the CK, CKA playlist. CKA sample test question three. Create a persistent value. The skill level for this question is difficult. Create a persistent volume that uses local storage. This persistent volume should be accessible from all name spaces. Run a pod with the name PV pod that uses this persistent volume from the speed vol namespace. Good luck. If you guys are thinking this is really a CCAD question, you'd be correct. This is uh, about 60% of the exam overlaps between the CCAD and the CKA. So uh, if you already had your CCAD, this is probably a pretty easy question. If you haven't taken the CCAD exam, I'm writing this question as difficult. So uh, let's get started. I think the best way, again, to answer this question is start with the documentation. I'm going to type in config a pod. And the cool thing here is you choose this one, configure pods and containers. You get a nice little list. And in here should be, if my memory is correct, Persistent storage. Here we go. And I think this makes the question much easier. Because here we have our position volume. So I'll take this, copy it. Uh, Vim, and we'll call this question 3.yaml. And do a paste and let's see our control I we want to make that all gives up 10 gigs so I'm gonna make this three remember there's nothing in the question that says uh, there's nothing here about names and but there's something about path I believe. So this will all run a pod with the name PV from this. Nope, nothing about path either. So this is good here. And well, it does say local storage. And that's going to mean host path. So you do have to know that. And it also mentions thing about from all namespaces. Well, it's a little tricky there because persistent volume doesn't have namespaces, so it's automatically accessible from all namespaces. So I'm not going to change anything here except for this three gigs. So I'm going to come down here, do three lines. That allows me to put another YAML file in here. So I'm going to go back to documentation, prison volume claim. You need that. And that is a namespace. So I'm going to say paste. And storage request, I'll say two gigs. And we need to put namespace. And the namespace should be Bow. All right, that looks good there. Now we need to make the pod. Back to our. Actually, 
I want to make the pod as a separate. So we're going back here. I'm going to save. I need to make that namespace. FQ3.yaml. Okay, so it looks like we got our persistent volume created and then our claim. And we do a cube, test little things out. QCTL, get persistent volume claims, namespace. And this is what you want to see. You want to see bound. And it's bound to the volume. So everything looks pretty good there. So let's go ahead and create our Q3 pod.yaml. I think we already pasted it correctly. Oh no, we lost it. Okay, so now you don't really need any of this, but I'm just going to leave it. Then I can hear us on the question. And we do need to put this in our namespace. And we'll call it uh, SpeedVal. And we call it a Q3 pod. QCTL get pods name space be raw. That's con con yeah, we're running now. Excellent. We do a cube CTL describe. Uh, task PV uh, so we have to do a pod and the name guy can't remember but let's see pod name space V vowel and everything looks, looks good there we come up here we should see our volume we're in the correct namespace, which is excellent. And here is our persistent volume information. So another question, all credits. Excellent. See you in the next question, and thanks for watching.